All right, good morning, guys. My name is Taz. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, also welcome. And thank you for coming back. I am actually just filming a little this little intro before I take my daughter to the bus because she's almost ready to go. And this arrived at excuse me. This arrived at 8 a.m. My like I have grow lights that are on like a, a schedule, so they they come on at like whatever 8:30. So I know it's time to go. But <laughs> this arrived at 6 a.m. It was supposed to come yesterday. I had got all done yesterday to open these up and I did my hair and now I woke up today, didn't do shit, and then I'll walk outside and they're on the floor. I was shook. I was like, Riley, why are why is my package here? It is freaking so early in the morning. So hopefully they are okay because it was a little chilly. It was a little chilly. Um, I think they should be fine though, especially in a box. So I don't know. But like I said, it was supposed to be here yesterday. I feel like they just forgot to drop it off at my house when they came by because it set out for delivery since 6 a.m. And it just never arrived. So whatever, whatever. We'll see what, what condition they are in. They should be fine. He did unfortunately for him he did pay express shipping and it was not express shipping um they definitely delayed it <laughs> they definitely delayed it um so i think i might even say well if he watches this he should um try and get that shipping cost back because they guaranteed three days and it was shipped um, tuesday tuesday wednesday thursday friday oh <laughs> Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, right on Friday. Oh, maybe, maybe he could swing it. I don't know. Express shipping should be like really fast. It shouldn't even be three days. It should be like two days, one to two days, right? So, are you ready? What? School. What do you mean for what? <laughs> but yeah, so we'll see once I get back from dropping her off. Um, what they're what state they're in i am excited i'm so excited my mom's actually has one coming today too not from him she got one off an auction off of bougie plant mom uh on facebook if you've uh on facebook you should look them up uh paola I, i'm not sure how to say her name i hope if she sees this i hope i hope i said it right but um she i think she runs it and created it but they have gorgeous plants always on on show there for auction and stuff. And that's where my mom gets some of her collection. So, and she's really nice. She's really nice, easy to talk to, and she answers. So, um, I was trying to find, I'll, I'll go ask her for um, the link to the, the group if that's what she wants. If she wants people in there or not, I'll ask her. But that's where she gets a lot of her collection. So, if you're interested, just let me know. But anyways, without further ado, I'm going to go drop off this little rat. My little, my little rat, and then I will be back. <laughs> All right, I have returned. That was so much fun, wasn't it? Wasn't it, little love? She always has to photo bomb me in the beginning of these videos. Am I not loving you enough? No, you're so hairy. No, that's you. Yes, you don't need to look at yourself yet. Yeah, that's you. Don't eat my camera. Don't do it. Don't put your butthole. They don't, no, no. This is not only cats. This is not only cats. Come on. You can send naughty pictures to your boyfriend later, okay? All right, one. One. Ma'am, don't meow me. All right, let's do this, guys. I am actually a little bit nervous. I'm like, I'm prolonging opening it. Ugh. I just know begonia can sometimes be really fussy, but the store was Rainbow Jungle Plants, I believe, yeah. And his name is Rio. I believe that's how you say it. If I said it wrong, I'm really sorry. But his name is Rio. Uh, and his store is cute. Like, he has he has begonia, he has anthurium, and he had some alocasia. So, I can't remember what else. I think that was it, though. But, to me, it looked like a newer Etsy shop, and I love that. <clears throat> I will put up his Etsy shop here for you guys to see, but I love that. I love being able to support another small Etsy shop. That's super fun for me. 
So as soon as I saw that he had a sale, I believe he had a sale, and the plants just looked really healthy on the pictures. So I was like, you know what, let's try it. And then I, I messaged him and I was like, hey, I messaged, I, I purchased four from you, but two separate orders. Can you combine them? And he was like, yeah, absolutely. Also, I will totally upgrade you to express shipping. I was like, oh my gosh. Well then don't like, don't get rid of my other shipping that I paid, the extra shipping I paid. You know, obviously just keep that because that was really nice of you. So, <clears throat> it seems like a really, I see you ma'am. Seems like a really nice shop owner and I love that. That to me, if someone gives me good customer service, I'm like, I will be back. <clears throat> uh, my throat's all goofy. Um, and that, ooh, oh, so cute. Look at these. Ma'am, you are so in my bubble today. What What is up? All right, so let me just show you quick. So there's like cute little um, accessories. Like, what is that? Ooh, it's so pretty. What is it? Maybe a magnet? I can't tell. Let me cut it. Let me cut it open. <laughs> I, okay, I do this too with my store. I love adding in little stickers and stuff. I don't know what it is about it, but when I open up a package from an Etsy store and I have all these little like things that come with it, I get excited. Like, I like that. It's like a little gift, you know? And even if I don't use the stickers, or even if my customers don't use the stickers, I like it. You know, I love it. I think it's so cute. Oh, it is a little mat. Ooh, this would look really cute on the doors of my Ikea cabinets. Look, isn't that cute? It's a Vici, I believe. Looks like I have one right there. It looks like a Vici. And then we have, it looks like a Crystallinum or a Doc Block. Looks like, it looks like one of them. Maybe a Michelle, I don't know. I'm gonna show you, you'll see. Let me, uh, let me remove these packing peanuts. I'm gonna get these packing peanuts next time too. Amazon finally has a good listing for them. They're like the, I, th I believe they're the biodegradable ones. Um, before it was just so expensive to get like a huge quart size of it, cubic quart. And they would only have like three. Now they have like eight, which is so big, but worth it. And I use it a lot for shipping my corn, so it would be nice to have. Sorry, let me just dump these. <clears throat> yeah, I was super duper 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 nervous because I just, I don't want to mess these up. They were kind of expensive. Um... But to me, it was like, you know what? It's a really good investment too for my own store. Eventually, if I have, like if it gets too big, then I can cut it and my family wants some and I want some. Um, so I think it's a good investment either way, you know, whether it's gifts, investment for gifts or for my own cuttings, etc. cetera. But <clears throat> definitely, go, definitely go look at his shop because it's cute. And um, share some love. This does look like a dock block, kind of like a red crystalline a little bit too, but I'm pretty sure it's a Michelle. I could be wrong. Maybe he can tell us in the comments. I'm not sure, but <clears throat> obviously an anthurium. I like these. They're so cute. I'm going to put them on my Ikea cabinet doors. All right, but let's crack into this first one. Oh, he has them on every single one. What a cutie. There's a Monstera one here. Oh, I love that. I love that. So cute. See what I mean? Like, oh, that's just so fun to me. I love it. All right, everybody breathe. Just take a breath. Breathe in, breathe out. It's gonna be fine. I'm also gonna start shipping my plants USPS because they are ridiculous. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my Lord. How adorable. You look perfect. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. I think this is the Galaxy. What was the other one? Snow Capped. I got Snow Capped and Galaxy. I'm pretty sure. I'll, I'll check in the end and make sure I said that. Oh, he's healthy. He arrived perfect. Oh. Look at those colors. Oh my, and the pinks. 
Is it Begonia Galaxy? Pink Galaxy, I want to say. Ginny Galaxy. I don't know. I'm like blinking on it right now, but look at that. Oh my gosh. All right, I'll open it fully in a second here. Let me just get the other ones out so they can breathe. But how exciting. He definitely should cut these like half. Throw some teddy bear fiber in there and then just like tape over it. That way he can use this again, like the top part. He could pack two in here, if that makes sense. <clears throat> um, saving some materials for sure. All right, so this is another one. Same one, Galaxy. I think it's a Galaxy. I keep I keep saying it, but I'm like, so I can guess. You know, I, I low-key want to go attack. Um, my order, but I'll, I'll add it on the bottom if anything. So look at that pink. Now I believe these are cane begonias. That pink is so pretty. He got a little melty on the side of the one leaf, but look at the color, you guys. <gasps> if that's not the prettiest thing you've ever seen in, in your entire life, you're wrong. Look at that. Look at that. I like the yellows too. The Aurea tones are like, to me, like those pinks. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. I'm very excited to see these other ones So I'm really excited. That is so pretty. My mom got a massive one coming. I, I, it is pretty big. I should say, yeah, it is pretty big. It is pretty big. Um, like I said, she got it off of that bougie, bougie plant mom site. I saw it yesterday, too, on there, and I was like, oh, I want it. I want it. Oh, cute. I don't know what this leaf is on this one. Maybe a homolamina. Is that how you say that? I don't know. I don't know. But this one's for sure a monster elbow. I believe elbow or man no it's an elbow look isn't that cute but yeah i totally think he could cut these in half and and utilize both sides <clears throat> me telling somebody what to do <laughs> i would never i would never i'm perfect <laughs> i'm so perfect i wish i was perfect but look how cute i love it very cute very cute very cute Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I needed this. I needed this. I did. Oh, oh it's so cute. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Let me cut it again. <gasps> that is, I'm telling you, this is like the prettiest thing. I said that about that one, but this is like, I, I don't know. I think this is prettier. I think this is for sure prettier. I've wanted this plant, I would say, God, my mom and I have been talking about this plant for probably two years. I went through a really big begonia stage last summer. Um, I've been seeing these circulating on my Instagram a lot lately. And I was just like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Do it. Do it. And I did it. So I did it. I'm a little scared. My husband's a little scared, but you know what? If I take good care of it, I can cut it up. I probably won't want to. That's why I got two. <laughs> I was like, Taz, you know you're not going to want to cut it up. So I was like, fuck it. Let's get another one. Let's get two more because I can eventually make my money back maybe on those other two. But you won't find me probably cutting my own. <laughs> So this is this is the snow capped Jenny Snow. I think it's Jenny Galaxy uh variegated. I I'm sorry, I'm probably butchering it, but this is the snow capped, variegated snow cap, I believe. I believe. I'm sorry. I'm so lost today. I can't remember. But I'm pretty sure. I guess I could pause it and look it up, but look how and they're hard. Like they are nice and hard. 
<laughs> Look at those. Ugh. Oh, so cute. And it, you can't really see the pink. Yeah, you can kind of, kind of like this under the back. But it's got these like pink tones to it too. These came really healthy. These came surprisingly very healthy. And like I said, I think they're cane begonias. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure these are canes. I could be wrong though. So cute. The last one. Um, yeah, I don't know what this leaf is. It looks familiar, but I, I'm blanking on it. I'm blanking on it, so. Is this stuck to the bottom? I can't tell. No, it's just squeezed in there. There you go. All right. Let me see. I don't know what this looks like a philodendron leaf, but there's no philodendron that looks like this, I don't believe. Is it a homolamina? Is it homolamina? Homolamina, 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 is it? I don't know. Oh, maybe it's a Calathea. Caladian. Calathea. It doesn't look like a Caladium, though. Oh, it doesn't look like a Caladium. I don't know. Am I wrong? Tell me. Tell me if I'm right. Tell me if I'm right. That's what, that's my guess. That's my guess. That's my guess. Uh, that's my guess. Uh, most of them say, okay. Um, Oh, so I don't think I showed you how it was packaged. So it looks like this. I would suggest putting like teddy bear fibers here just to like fiber fill just to protect the leaves, but it doesn't seem to have affected it at all. I'm just super anal about my um, chipping. I go over the top a little bit. I'm so scared somebody's gonna yell at me for, you know, not packaging things right. This, oh, this one has way more pinks in it. Oh, I like it. You can't see it on the camera. This one, you can kind of see it a little bit more. But look at that greens. The speckles, it's so pretty. This leaf. Ooh, look at this like pink in the center here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm a big fan. Especially this leaf, this leaf and this one. I think these are my two favorites. Don't you think? I'm so excited. They're so cute. They're so cute. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm so glad I did that. I'm so glad I did that. I'm so glad I went with this shop too. I love helping out smaller shops. It's so much fun. Um, and I think he was running a sale. If I, if I remember correctly, pretty sure he was running a sale that day or week or or whatever it was, and <clears throat> I just kind of was like, you know what? It's a little more than I would have liked to spend on these, but at the same time, it's like, oh, let's 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 just do it. Let's just let's just do it. Let's just do it. So, because I, I, you know, when I started my store, I gotta say, the very first person that purchased something from me, I should go find who it was. The very first person that purchased something from me. Like that had to be a hard decision on that person's part, you know, I, I, unless they just missed the looking at review section and all of that, because that's, that's pretty scary, you know, choosing to support or, or purchase from a store that has zero sales. 
That's a scary, a scary decision to take. I, I, I think. I don't know if I would be as like confident with doing that. I don't know how to get this out. I'm scared. Um, but people do it. They do it. And I, I appreciate it. I appreciated it. And then, you know, one led to another, another led to another. And then eventually it, it works itself out real nice. But at first it's really scary. This is scaring me. <laughs> I'm so scared I rip a leaf off. I believe you need nodes for the most part for these to be props. If I break a leaf. I think it would root, but I, I don't know that it would actually make pops. I don't, I could be wrong, but I thought it would. I don't remember if I've done one like that before. I think I have, but I don't remember what the outcome was. My big angel wings back in the day. I'm like pulling him out. Don't come out. I'm very sorry. We're almost done. This is a hard surgery, my little friend. Hard surgery for you. So cute. Oh, he's like a little, what kind of a planter is that? Oh, interesting. I wonder where he gets those. Oh, interesting. But yeah, I also put his Instagram, I did put it on the other day, but it's been a while since, I won't open all of these, don't worry. I just want to peek at one so we can see what it looks like. Um, I'm not going to, but let me finish my sentence first. Freaking ADHD here. Uh, I'm not going to, I mean, I did post a couple days ago that I was getting these um, that I purchased from the store. And um, I put his link in my story. I will probably do it again, take a picture and, and put it in there. And then also on here at the bottom, I will put his Instagram URL. So make sure to go give some love, you know, go follow. It helps. Algorithm stuff always helps. I don't, I know Instagram has changed their algorithm quite a bit now. I don't even know if tags work anymore. I have to look into it because I just keep hearing nonsense about Instagram and I might just start posting to TikTok more before it gets canceled <laughs> and then focusing on YouTube as well. I did get a new camera. That's coming today or Saturday, Saturday. I'm so excited. Um, I used to have one, a really nice one, but I never recorded on it. And I was really lazy about filming or taking pictures and then getting it onto my computer and um, editing it there. I just would get so lazy with that process. It was the too many steps for my brain to be like, yay, let's do this. Whereas on my phone, it's always there anyways. It's always in front of me. I keep staring at myself. So hopefully that will change too. I won't be staring at myself anymore. I'll be staring at you guys. Because <laughs> like I just forget. I can't help it. Um, all right. But let's let's pull this stuff out. That looks like vermiculite. I think it is. So I think it is. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's vermiculite. Which begonias are very moisture loving plants they love um moisture retention type of soils retaining soils so like for vermiculite is a great choice and i'm actually making a begonia soil now that i'm working with uh after purchasing these i was like i want to sell my own begonia soil and my thought process for it is vermiculite because it 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 does absorb water and it retains water and stays moist for quite a while so like you don't i put vermiculite in with my alocasia the mixes because alocasia don't really like drying out too much they can tolerate it to an extent but they they don't like it whereas even ethereum don't like it very much either but in theory, the mix that I make, it's very easy that once it starts drying, you flush it with water and it doesn't really hold too much where it would oversaturate it. And with my philodendron, it's a little more dense than my anthurium, but less dense than my alocasia and way less dense than begonia. Begonia will really appreciate a denser mix. So I'm thinking tree fern fiber. I'm thinking perlite. Like a lighter instead of pumice, like a lighter um, 
gap giver, I call it, the oxygen blocks <laughs> to break it up, but not too much, like not to break it up too much because you don't want too many spaces. Those roots can dry out quite a bit. So I'm thinking that, and then I'm thinking I have really small bark, like really, really small bark. I'm thinking of that as well. And um, there was one other thing. I thought about cocoa chips or cocoa core. I don't really like working with cocoa core, so I think tree fern fiber is the way to go with some vermiculite, um, some cocoa chips, and small bark, and uh, perlite. I think I'll try that. And I also have like a coarse sand that I might try with it too different types and then put my cuttings that I already have of my other ones in and see which does better because then I would love to sell a begonia mix too. I love begonia. I think begonia are beautiful and they grow so nice and they're very forgiving and they, they you can re, you can bounce them back really easily too, but this mix is very interesting. Definitely looks like vermiculite. I wonder if it's all just vermiculite. What else is in here? I see something else. Some soil. It smells like soil. It looks like just vermiculite though. Or maybe a sand. Sand and vermiculite. I will have to ask him. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. Oh, look at your happy little root. I'm sorry. Did I unroot you there a little bit? So cute. Yeah, getting it all over myself. But yeah, so let me show you what I mean, what it looks like. Maybe you guys will give um, ideas as to what you think it might be. No, it looks like vermic vermiculite, right? I don't know if I'm saying it right, but... They seem happy. I doubt he would have just potted in this to ship. So... And it's moist, which is nice. So I'm not even going to give this water. I'm just going to put it in my cabinet, let it, um, let it kind of get over its journey, and then down the line here, maybe in a, a week or even in a couple days. Begonia are pretty chill. So I'm also going to not give it intense light. I'm just going to give it like a, a gentle light amount of light so that we're not uh, overstressing it or stressing it out too much considering it just traveled for four days and probably doesn't want to try and sit there and absorb nutrients and, and light and too much water. It probably just needs, it needs probably just a day to like recover. Um, and then he also doesn't have a lot of crisping on these. So that's really nice too. He's done a pretty good job of caring of these. I, I'm really excited for this. I'd love, I saw the roots in that. So I know it's rooted and done, but Very cool, very pretty. Again, let's look at this one. I am, I'm just, and here's the other one. Such a fan. Even looking on the camera at it. So pretty. I love these pinks. I wish you could see it clearly. You can see the back of the leaf. That's what the front is looking like in those like gaps. There where you can see the green and in, in between. It looks cream, but it's pink. It's like a bright and it might just be the way the pink on the back is shining through. Yeah. And it's it's hairy. <laughs> but yeah, let me go unpackage these get them all in my cabinet. I'll do a cameo of it afterwards once it's in the cabinet so you can see where it is and then I will repot them soon here. My plan is to put them in um my plan is to put them in girl 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 Uh, pond and stratum. <laughs> uh, 
I need food. <laughs> My brain is not braining. <laughs> wow. Maybe I just had a stroke. <laughs> Jesus. Um, sorry. <laughs> to put them in that, in a self-watering planter that I'm going to make them. Um, I think I'm going to put them in my small, depending on their roots. Begonia have very, very thin roots, and they make a lot of them. They make a lot of them. They're, they never get really thick, so that's why they like that denser, that dinks, that dinkser, that denser mix. They like to have their little roots just really enclosed, and they don't need big gaps like our, our bigger plants do. They just need little gaps, so that's why they're so cute. But yeah, let me go unpackage them all, and then I will take a cameo of them closer without my face in it. Oh, I also wanted to mention, I did ask him what he uses to fertilize his begonia, because I have used a couple different kinds on my begonia, and I've noticed they did not like it. I've used foliage focus, they didn't really like that. They didn't hate tiger bloom, but from Fox Farms, however, it didn't do great with it either. It, it decolorized a little bit. So I asked him what he uses, and he says he uses, I got hiccup, sorry, yep. a 101010. And I got TPS, um, TPS's 101010. I don't know what it's call, called, but he recommended a poem, something. I, I'll have to look it up, but. Um, type of a fertilizer for his begonia. and. He was real. As soon as I purchased my plant, I got a message from him um, that literally gave me all of the care advice, light, humidity, um, fertilizing, etc. So, and the care tips. I really like that. I really like that. Um, I think that's really good customer service and and just really good care because, like, obviously that shows he cares about his plants and wants them to be successful with you and not die, right? Um, but thank you for listening to me, blah, drone on and 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 on. All right, we are in the cabinet. I did rip off one part of the leaf here on this one by mistake trying to get the plastic off. That made me sad. <laughs> but, um... They are so pretty. Look at that. Those colors. I like that this one's got like the more pinks, like greens, dark greens. And then this one has the more like pink, pink. That might just be because they're like smaller leaves. But beautiful plant. Honestly, beautiful plants. Um, I've put them... You can see how low they are. They're just low right now under the light, not too bright, but not too um, dark. And then we have these guys here as well. Like I said, I'm not gonna put water in here yet. When I get back from lunch, I probably, well, not lunch, I have to go to my sister's house and feed their bunnies and their fishies, so, and cats, but. Then I will come and survey this and see how they're doing. But the humidity in here should be really, really good for them. They should like that a lot. But look how beautiful. Oh. I like that orange. Sorry, queen. Did I bump you, lovely? That little new leaf coming in there. So pink. Yeah, look at the little cute little baby that I broke. <laughs> so sad. Yeah, isn't that, aren't they beautiful? 